We've been looking at really simple arrays, but what happens if you have an array that's a little bit more complex, which is highly likely, and you had maybe several levels of nesting inside of that array, e.g. an associative multidimensional array. Well, what we can do is do exactly the same as we've been doing. We just really need to tweak the uh, line breaks we make in our code just to make this look a little bit neater. So let's imagine we have a user array here. Maybe this has come from an API somewhere or another source, or even just come from your database. So let's say that we've got a name in here, but then we've got a nested array inside of here with address information. And let's just say we have line one. Of course, this isn't too complicated, but uh, you can imagine that we have arrays that are a lot more complicated than this. Well, let's say that we want to extract the user's name and line one. Now we already know that we can do this by uh, referencing the user variable and accessing the name and we can do this with the address by referencing uh, let's just say we wanted this to be called address line one referencing user address and line one that's a little bit annoying to type I don't really like having to nest down like this so let's take a look at how we would do this using array destructuring let's first of all dump this out just to prove that this works so let's go ahead and say name and address line one and let's head over and give that a refresh and sure enough we get Alex and 24 code road okay so let's comment these out and look at the way that we would use destructuring for this and like I said we want to do this slightly differently I don't want to do this all in one line I actually want to pull this down to kind of mimic the same structure as the array that I'm working with or at least set the structure that I would like to see so let's go ahead and make sure that we actually destructure this from the user array that we have up just up up here and let's go ahead and reference the name key, which is we know how we uh, destructure associative arrays. And let's go ahead and assign that to the value name, which of course we can use here to dump out. Now it's no different for nested things. So I can say, well, inside of address, I then want to go ahead and access the line one item. And I want to assign that to address line one. So it's really what we just did earlier in the course, but we're nesting down into these objects as well and you can nest as far as you like it doesn't matter how complex this is you just to find out the same structure here and you pick the variable names in here that you want to assign so if you go ahead and refresh that sure enough this works in exactly the same way so however complex your arrays are as long as you're keeping a nice structure to these like this in your code you will uh, be able to pluck these values out in a much more efficient way